Hey, big family, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Kenny. And I'm Chrissy. And uh, we're here at the Tulsana Wilderness Campground near Glen Allen, Alaska. And uh, we're gonna go for a walk around. To show you how easy YouTube is not, this is how the intro went the first time we did it. Hey, big family, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chrissy. <laughs> I didn't um, mean to say that. I could have said it, I'm Kenny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. So we don't normally do campground reviews, but uh, we figured we'd try it out on this one. And um, we're just walking around the loop where our bus is parked right now. Mosquitoes everywhere. But that's just anywhere north, really. There's no uh, full hookup sites. And uh, there's plenty of um, water and electric sites, and they have a dump station. And uh, I think all the sites, all the camper sites, are along the Tulsana Creek. So it runs through, and we'll show you our campsite when we get back over there. But I think most of them has access where you can get down to the creek. And the water's not actually really cold. It's cool. It feels nice, and it's been kind of warm. So there's also laundry service. Laundromat, not laundry service. Um, they have planned activities every weekend for kids, like themed weekends. And bike. Um, they have the bathhouse. They have obviously bathhouse and they showers. Rent out tubes. They rent out tubes so you can float the creek. There's a playground area for the kids. I know they said that you could walk about a half a mile uh, or a half an hour, and then you can float, and the float takes you about 15 minutes, and you can float all the way down. Like kind of like a lazy river. I think the tubes are like five dollars for a day. Um, you just have to sign a waiver, and you can float on the creek. We'll show you the creek in a minute. The campground starts up there. You drive over the bridge here, and check out the offices back there. They also have a couple of yurts along the creek that you can rent, and this is the creek. And you can see there's some campers over there and over here, and they all have access to get down to the creek. Yeah, it's, this is a pretty deep hole. I've just seen a fish come up right there. Um, so right there you could actually swim probably. And most of the campsites are pretty shallow. So if you have kids, which they gear more towards kids, they have theme weekends for the entire summer. I think they're open Memorial Day to Labor Day every year. So they have themed kids weekends every weekend. It's been really nice having the shallow water right by our, uh, by the, our campsite because the kids can play and I don't have to worry. And, um, They've been really having a good time doing that. Sorry if only half of our faces are in this one time. It's hard to do this and walk. Playground, small, but it's enough for the kids to have fun on. A couple of wooden swings over there. And they have a little coffee hut, but it's all coffees, drinks, and some snacks. I believe you walk up that way to the top of the creek to uh, float down. There's this little patch of woods in the middle of our loop. There's all these paths through here. Um, we're going to check out the laundry area. So there's these little paths through the woods you can walk. There's also a mud volcano. I think it's like a two mile hike, they said. We did not do that. They wanted a day where it was raining. And uh, it was guided. I mean, you can go anytime, but the guided one, we didn't go because it was raining all day that day. We didn't have the proper gear for it. We're here on the uh, RV2AK rally. We're here for that that week for that, and they went on a guided tour to the mud volcano, and we didn't go. The laundry facility. They're old machines, but they work really good. At this time of the filming, July 24, $2 to wash, 50 cents to dry. If it's a bigger load, it will take two seconds to dry. But um, yeah, cheap laundry, works good. More walking through the woods, back to our site. We're just gonna do a quick walk through around our loop so you can see what all the sites look like. We're gonna start our bus and just do a whole loop back to the bus.
All right, we're back at our site, and that was the loop we're in. Kind of um, decent sized sites. There's trees in each one of them. All of them have access to the creek. It's pretty nice. This is one side of our site where the hookups are, water electric, and then some little patch of trees separating us from the next person. And the other side is a picnic table. We have closed around out the kids playing in the creek. Chairs, and then a fire ring. Next to the creek. And the creek running behind our bus. Crispy with mustard. The best way to have a hot dog. All right, guys, so this is our last night here at the uh, RV2AK Rally in Tulsona Wilderness Campground. And um, what did you think of it? It was really fun. The kids really liked it. They loved playing in the creek, and it was nice for us because it was shallow, and we didn't have to worry about whether they were going to get hurt. Um, they had a playground that they really liked, so it's a really great campground if you have kids. Yep, it's nice. Uh, like we said, every, every campground, the creek runs behind it, so they have some yurts they run out to, as well as, well as the uh, RV sites and tent sites. And um, we're sitting on the little rock beach right now with the creek behind us. This is where the kids were playing in the creek a couple days. Um, they all had a lot of fun. We got to meet people from all over the country. Um, a lot of nice people and the campgrounds are great so the kids are already asking to come back yep. yeah if you're if you're in the area this is <clears throat> near Glen Allen so between Toke and uh, the Anchorage area um, it's right off the, the highway there and um, it's uh, pretty nice and secluded and they have kids themed weekends all summer long they do so if you have kids there's stuff for them to do and I think during the week it's you know, not quite as busy, so you might have a place to yourself almost. Mm -hmm. So it's a really nice campground. All right, guys, till next video. Bye. Hey, guys, we're just out here packing up, getting all of our stuff outside so we can head out, go to the next place. And I just thought, I forgot to mention something. As far as the internet goes, it's only one or two bars of cell phone service, only enough to make phone calls, send text, stuff like that. We need it for working, for streaming, you know, internet for something like that, you're gonna need Starlink or some other form of internet that you can use in remote locations because cell internet just won't do it for you here. Anyway. Life is a winding road. 